Hey everybody, Corinne Henneberry here with the Red Carpet Report. Today we are behind the scenes at So You Think You Can Dance, and tonight it was a double elimination. I don't know who went home, but we're going to talk to everyone and find out. Congratulations. You are a star beyond stars, truly, especially tonight. I was very happy to, um, to see the end result of a, uh, an interesting journey because uh, Ruby, she's a ballroom dancer, and Paul, so you you think then things gonna go super smooth and super easy no you put a very elevated routine because in ballroom dancing they're not allowed to do lift when they compete now you stack it up with with lifts and they take it and they they really brought that piece like to the sky I'm so happy with that and She's Ruby the, shining in that Ruby yeah, outfit exactly <laughs> She was a uh, little uh, Katniss. Uh, what was there? I mean, like you said, they are so talented. What was their their cha biggest challenge as a pair? As a pair is uh, the, all the transition of the lifts because um, Ruby have all that energy, but once again, she used to dance both feet on the ground. Right now, when you up there and you have the same amount of energy. <laughs> Paul really have to control contain all the, it. contain all this. But you know what? They get to learn to dance together, and know each other. It's like a big brother, his little sister. They amazing together. They're so beautiful. Where does where do most of your ideas come from? Is it just at home? You know what? In the middle of having dinner, yeah, they yeah, <laughs> pretty much everywhere and anytime. But for me, the most the important thing, the motivation comes from the music. If you, like, first of all, you commissioned to do either uh, cha-cha, rumba, whatever. Now this week it was a, a jive and a pasodoble. So I'm start looking at music, and if I found the right music, I start to see images in my head, and that's what drives the creativity. Exactly, because those beats, you know, just the. I can be more uh, have more respect for a composer, people who create music, because for me, it's the essence of a choreography. It starts with this, and you start to see the highlights, because they highlight their music, and that particular note, you start to see a movement attached to it, and then you have to piece it together. And after, you have to put that on a couple who can do it. Yeah. And uh, There's so many steps into making it oh, all... You have no a, idea. A complete... Yes. Uh, you have to successful get to package night, to get to <laughs> Monday night. Oh my God, it's a quest. And it's the quest. It's the quest. So, let, can I ask one more question? Yes, As a choreographer, what what length of time do you allow for yourself? I know you're under strict deadlines, especially when when dealing with a, a live show, yes. a live taping. How much time do you get to give yourself to really allow it to marinate and come to life? Oh, well, sometimes you have no time because. You, you know, it's a little complex because you would pick a music that it needs to be cleared. That's and, one step. Yeah, yeah. and then you, you put all your hope in that particular piece of music, but the composer or the label or the artist say, you know what, I don't want to be associated to this or to that, right? So all of a sudden, you, you have all those great ideas, but you have to move on to another, another piece of music. And then at the and then you get to know the dancers at the last minute. So you say, okay, I'm gonna do this and do that. But you look at the couple and say, no, 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 you can't. Yep. That's not gonna work. You know, what works for Paul and Ruby doesn't work for Jenna and Jake. For sure. Because the height's different and all this. So you have to change your game. And sometimes you have to s just s spin on a dime. Well, isn't that the biggest life lesson we can take, y'all? Yes. Adaptation. Yes, absolutely. That's what we have to deal with. Well, yes. congratulations. Thank Despite so all the changes, you really pulled through tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and don't forget to vote for your favorite dancer. Bye.